Hi there, Ollie here from White Gates in Murfield again. Uh, they seem to be coming on thick and fast at the moment, usually a time where it may slow down a wee bit. We've got a lot of new instructions coming on the market and a lot of nice ones selling quickly as well, which is uh, emphasis on that. Before I start on this one, actually, a lot of people have missed out on properties waiting for them to drop on various portals. YouTube, the platform you're on right now, uh, can upload really fast. Uh, so ultimately, if you are looking for a property, or let's be honest, if you're just nosy and like having a, a, a look around properties in Murfield, which is fair enough, do make sure you subscribe to this page um, at least click the bell icons if you want to be notified as, as well but they can pop on this platform faster than the others uh, there are houses going so quick that by the time they've uploaded onto various other portals online uh, we've already got offers in so if you want to be quick off the mark not always but 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 sometimes these drop on on right move faster than anywhere else so just make a note subscribe anyway this house is a lovely three bedroom semi-detached property in Murfield. It's got a kitchen extension to the rear, making a dining kitchen actually. Um, it's really well presented throughout. Loads of parking, garage, get three to the front. Obviously the garage, as I mentioned, uh, the garden's in the sun most of the day as well. Uh, a really, really competitive price. Now we're on Leeds Road. Every house has got a compromise uh, and that's its only one really here. And the buffer from the road's huge. If you have a look outside, take a look on Street View, there's such a distance before your front door it's fantastic um, but what we've got here is that extended dining kitchen property um, on the market at £210,000 uh, the last one I sold for that sort of money was a complete doer upper in the centre of uh, in the centre of Murfield, no extension or anything. So you're getting a lot for your money here. Um, as usual, I'll flip the camera around. We'll have a wonder, and I'll catch up with you in three or four minutes, depending on how much I bang on walking round. Speak soon. From the front drive, you're straight out of the car into this entrance porch. It's a nice addition, side facing window, space for the shoes, space for the coats, alarm control panel, uh, and then a door into the inner hall, so it keeps the cold out in the porch. Close that door. And then we've got stairs rising up to the first floor there. I get all the traditional three beds, essentially heated radiator, and then through into the living room. Lovely snug room, this one. The inset fireplace, really uh, attractive. It's currently capped off as the gas, but you could get that reinstated and gas checked. So there is gas there. Um, again, radiator and then front facing window, just overlooking where you'd be parking essentially. Couple of cars there, easy three actually, uh, to be fair. One there, one there, and one along the side. And then of course the, dry, the uh, garage as well to the back. Uh, so from this nice living room, we threw into uh, kitchen and dining room, uh, kitchen diner effectively all fully opened up. You can see the thickness of the wall right there. That's where the original property ended. So from here into this kitchen is all an extension. Spotlights to the ceiling, loads of natural light, got a side facing window and a rear door with an adjacent window there. Uh, integrated microwave, convection oven. Uh, we've got the hob there with the extractor over, uh, fridge and freezer and then the dishwasher over here as well. Uh, so yeah, fully integrated appliances uh, and the washing machine. Not integrated, but hidden between these double doors, so all completely tucked out of the way. Uh, nice grey finish, uh, a lovely uh, laminate marble effect worktop. Uh, these steel drawer, pan drawers down here are a really cool touch as well. It, uh, it kind of flows up with the extractor, so a nice touch that. Uh, back round then, I've kind of briefly run through here, but we've got a big 
dining suite in here, room for the uh, an office to the alcove, uh, open chimney breast um, with just an electric fire, so a power point down there. Uh, useful understairs storage here, um, so you know somewhere to shove bits and bobs, and a nice downstairs loo as well. Exposed chrome pipe work, chrome ladder style radiator loo, obviously, and side facing window. We'll nip upstairs now. Onto that landing, side facing window, so natural light into this space. A really big loft hatch with a pull down ladder, so bags of storage up there. To the rear, we've got a good size double room, two doubles on this one and a single. Obviously, being to the rear, we're overlooking the back there, the garden, the garage. Uh, and actually you can see here it's a proper pitch roof to that extension no flat roofs here proper proper pitched roof and then the front facing bedroom marginally bigger not a vast amount in it it just benefits from having the the bay to the front there and again obviously another good size double and then the single, like so many nowadays, is set up as a home office. But the great thing about this, if you needed it as a single, um, is there's no bulkhead there. So quite often there's an angle cut out here for head height on the stairs, which kind of kicks in here, which limits your uh, usage of this space. Or you have to get a built-in bed. But this one's easily big enough for a single bed there. So if you've got a kid uh, that needs that third bedroom as a bedroom, as opposed to the office, it's perfectly doable. And then upstairs, I'm sure you've guessed it, finally, we've got this fully tiled bathroom, panel bath, centrally located taps, shower over, loo, chrome radiator again, and a nice pedestal wash basin, uh, extractor fan as well, spotlit, so a nice modern white suite. Okay, so there you have it. Obviously, I was waffling all the way through as per usual. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's a well presented property. Have a look at this video alongside that floor plan, alongside the... Um, the, the photographs and possibly the description, although not many people read the description nowadays. It's floor plan, video and, and pictures, but yeah, match all those together. It's a lovely property, very flexible on viewings. We've got a key, the owners have got obviously live here, uh, so pretty flexible with viewing times. Uh, but ultimately, give us a shout if you want to take a look at this lovely house. Speak soon.